Hello Pisces, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a general reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It'll be a general reading, so I will not resonate with every Pisces. So check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those resonate more. I'm going to be pulling from this Oracle deck that I've combined um, with the Energy Oracle cards and the Enchanted Map Oracle cards. I'm going to pull some cards here and then clarify with the tarot. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Pisces? What does Pisces need to know? Some of these readings will be about love. Some will be about career, finances. It's all what the Spirit wants to talk about. So we'll see what comes out. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed, liked, commented. I read all of your comments. I love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. All right, let's get into it with Pisces, please. What messages do you have for Pisces? Thank you. Details, details was the first card. Okay, anything else for Pisces? Moonlight, interesting, okay. Details, details this is all about looking at the details of something. I don't know if you guys can see, but in the card, there's like almost like a spyglass or magnifying glass and the word clarity is kind of like shows up nice and big there. Moonlight is all about intuition. Um, very um, similar to the high priestess card in the tarot or the moon card in the tarot. So it's all about using your intuition to figure out what you want, what your intentions are. Whoa, whoa, what is happening? The cards are gonna be all messed up. One more, I just want one more card for Pisces, please. One more card for Pisces, okay, thank you. Come together. This is a union of some sort, a partnership of some sort. We'll clarify with the tarot and see. Interesting. I feel like some of you are looking really closely at a situation. Almost like your, your intuition is telling you to, to dig deeper, to look at the details of another person or another situation. Let's clarify with the tarot and see what this is all about. Spirit. Messages for Pisces, please. Messages for Pisces. These cards are always so hard to shuffle for me. Messages for Pisces. Oh, two. King of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Stability, commitment, growing, investing. Some of you could be looking into a small business, starting off a business by yourself. Um, some of you are waiting for this commitment, this King of Pentacles to arrive. Maybe you've met someone recently that's causing you to think about a future with this person. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Hmm, this person could be making an offer, but it's like they're taking their sweet time here with Seven of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. I hope you guys are not losing hope. I also just realized with Moonlight, that could be just you here. Let me let me see what Moonlight's all about. I have a feeling like I already talked about it, but just see if I missed anything else here. Come and trust your intuition to lead you into places that may not seem logical. Your hunches will be right on target. You can see beyond the surface of things and truly read between the lines interesting again with the details details these two go perfectly together you guys are seeing a situation for what it truly is for looking into the surface i mean not this looking beyond the surface is what i wanted to say very high priestess energy again hermit just came out this makes perfect sense again with the searching the looking some of you could be um searching again for this king of pentacles energy stability commitment your lifelong partner maybe thank you four of cups i feel like some of you are kind of losing hope here it's almost like you're wondering oh, if, if this offer is ever going to come in that's what i'm getting one more please thank you 
There it is, Queen of Pentacles. So this is definitely a partnership of some sort. The coming together of the King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. This is beautiful. Someone's coming to give this pentacle to this queen. Um, don't focus on the um, gender. There's a lot of pentacles here. This is a lot of earth energy. You could be dealing with someone that's an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be dealing, yeah, I, I have Virgo here again. So could be someone that has Virgo in their chart. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles. Some of you could be spying on someone on social media. I just got that. Yeah. <laughs> seven of uh, swords here some of you are spying on this mr king of pentacles or ma'am it's like you're sneakily trying to figure out who this person is what they're all about tell me more about this king of pentacles knight of cups i feel like you guys have a lot of emotion for this person or at least a spark is there ace of cups under the deck holy crap I keep telling myself I don't, I want to do a general reading and then it ends up being love for everybody. Maybe spirit just is really into romance. Tell me about Seven of Pentacles. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was sloppy. Tell me about Seven of Pentacles, please. Strength card, Leo. Again, I get the sense that a lot of you are trying to be strong in this situation or not give up. Could be dealing with someone who is a Leo or has Leo in their chart, but mostly i'm just thinking it's like some of you are seeking courage whoa okay yeah not giving up with the nine of wands knight of pentacles this knight is taking his sweet time and you're wondering if it's ever gonna come six of cups under the deck could be someone from your past or your past life type of connection tell me about this page of pentacles i love this reading so far it's like sometimes readings are just easy right like it's just all it's just right there. whoa oh my gosh hold on let me get it together so i'm gonna take the ones that flipped up i keep getting the tower on these readings the last two readings i got i got the tower and the ten of swords there's definitely an ending that is happening for this offer to come in and that's why it's taking forever pisces i need you to be patient <laughs> Because it's going to be what you want. It's going to be a stable, solid offer. This is the biggest coin in the deck. The biggest coin in the tarot. Tell me about the Hermit for Pisces. What's this Hermit about? Oh, okay, my cards are going crazy today. Yep. Nine of Cups Empress. This person, it, whether it's you or them, you see this other person as empress, someone to grow with, someone to start a family with, someone to expand with. They are your wish fulfillment. That's what this hermit is looking for or has been looking for, is their empress. That could be you, that could be the other person. Remember, energies could be vice versa. Wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck. That's why this is not happening when you want it to, Pisces, because divine has stepped in here. Tell me about the Four of Cups, okay? Anything else for the Four of Cups? My cards are just, okay, fine. <laughs> My cards are just flying today. All right, so we have here High Priestess. Again, High Priestess with the Moonlight card up here. Very similar energy. Someone that's trying to get to the bottom of something. The Very mysterious. They, they, they're seeking the unknown, seeking knowledge, hidden wisdom. Using your intuition. I feel like you intuitively know that this person, it's almost like you know that this person has to fight for this and has to deal with a lot to get to you, but it's like, you rather they would just come in hot. <laughs> you just want it to happen already, is what I'm getting here. You don't wanna miss out on this opportunity. Wheel of Fortune, bottom of the deck, again. So that's just your confirmation, Pisces. This is going to happen in divine timing, and the wheel is turning in your favor, even if it's not happening at the exact time that you are expecting it to happen. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles, please, for Pisces. This is the wifey or the hubby card for me. 
Queen of Pentacles is generous. She's in a long, stable, committed relationship. What? Three of Swords? Interesting. Why the three? Thank you. Why the three? Okay, I have another three here. Okay, let me let me just think about this because this is not what I expected. Threes are all about acknowledgement, knowledge, knowing things. Do I have any other threes? I don't think I do. Just curious to see if I have any other three. The Empress. Oh. Okay. Um, all right, guys. Let's see what this is all about. I have the chariot here, sign of cancer. This is all about victory, success, movement. Um, three of wands. This is someone waiting. Again with the waiting. Waiting for their ships to come in. You know what I'm getting here? I'm getting that someone wants to move forward very fast and it's not happening and they're very disappointed and heartbroken about this. And I'm telling you, Pisces, do not be disappointed about having to wait. It's going to happen. You know? It's just not going to be in the timing that you want it to be. And if there's a reason for that. I really strongly believe that. All right, Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If it resonated with you, please leave me a comment. Let me know what the situation is all about. If it did not resonate with you this time, that's fine. It just means it wasn't your reading. Um, check out your other placements for warm messages. Sometimes those resonate more. Thanks again to everyone who has liked, subscribed, and commented on my videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.